So, reading from Chaitanya Charita Amrita, Adi Lila, Chapter 3, Text 41. Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jai Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jai Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda. Jai Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Tapta Hema Samakanti, Prakanda Sharira, Nava Mega Jinikanta, Dwani E Gambira. The luster of his expansive body resembles molten gold. The deep sound of his voice conquers the thundering of newly assembled clouds. So, this is Lord Chaitanya, description of Lord Chaitanya. His, his complexion is golden. Krishna came as blackish color. No, that's Krishna's original color. Now, Lord Chait Krishna has come as Lord Chaitanya, but his body is golden. Why is it golden? Because he's taken the mood of Srimati Radharani. Srimati Radharani's complexion is golden. And because he's come with her mood, his complexion has become golden. One who measures four cubits in height and in breadth by his own, own hand is celebrated as a great personality. So this is one of the ways to see how is a great personality. Measures four cubits in height and breadth by his own hand. One of the ways to measure. Okay. Anya Groda Parimandala Hayatanyana Nya Groda Parimandala Tanu Chaitanya Gunadham. Such a person is called Nya Groda Parimandala. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who personifies all good qualities, has the body of a Nya Groda Parimandala. No one other than the Supreme Lord Himself, who has engaged the conditioned souls by His own illusory energy can possess these bodily features. These features certainly indicate an incarnation of Vishnu and no one else. So here again is given to us because many people, uh, we all want to become God, you know. So then there are some people who claim publicly, oh, I'm God. Not so this is one of the features. If, if a person is a Vishnu Tattva, he's an incarnation of Lord Vishnu or if he's Krishna himself, then his bodily features should be like that. Has to have the near Groda Parimandal. If not, then it's not an incarnation. So there are many, many tests, uh, many, many categories that, that the Vedas tell us, or if the incarnation or Lord Krishna himself, they have these qualities. They are born like this. They have this color. They'll be born when the stars are aligned in such a way. There's so many different things. You know, so this is for us to understand that we should not take anyone else, anyone and everyone as God. And also for us to understand when somebody is God, to accept him as God. Because sometimes we say, no, no, nobody is God then. Oh, but if the, you know, if there is so much evidence, then you have to accept his God. Ajanu lambita buja kamala lochana tila fula jinina sudham shuvadana. His arms are long enough to reach his knees. His eyes are just like lotus flowers. His nose is like a sesame flower. And his face is as beautiful as the moon. So this is the description of the bodily features of Lord Chaitanya. Shanta Danta Krishna Bhakti Nishta Parayana Bhakta Vatsal Sushila Sarve Sama. He's peaceful, self-controlled and fully devoted to the transcendental service of Lord Sri Krishna. He is affectionate towards his devotees. He is gentle and he is equally disposed toward all living beings. So these are the qualities of Lord Chaitanya. That he is Krishna himself. But what is he doing? He is engaging in bhakti. Why? To teach us how to engage in bhakti. He's teaching us. He's being an example. Krishna is so kind, so merciful. He's so compassionate. He said, oh, these Kali Yuga people, how will they know? How will they come to me? Let me teach them how to do bhakti. So like how a teacher takes the hand of a, of a student, takes the hand, right? A, B, C. Like that Krishna came as Lord Chaitanya to show us, oh, 
this is how you engage in bhakti. So, and he's equally disposed toward all living beings. Krishna is not partial to anyone. Lord Chaitanya is not partial to anyone. He's openly giving the mercy. Anyone, everyone who will accept it, he's given. People don't come to him, but he's going everywhere. He's going everywhere. He traveled all over India, giving people Krishna Prima. Chandanera Angada Bala Chandana Bhushana Nritya Kale Pari Karena Krishna Sankirtana is decorated with sandalwood bangles and armlets and anointed with the pulp of sandalwood. He especially wears these decorations to dance in Sri Krishna Sankirtan. So he has sandalwood bangles and armlets with sandalwood. So his ornaments are uh, anointed. They, are, they have sandalwood on them. Esabaguna lana muni vesham payana sahasranami kaila tandanam kanana. Recording all these qualities of Lord Chaitanya, the great sage, Vaishampayana included his name in the Vishnu Sahasra Nam. So the Vaishampayana, he has mentioned about Lord Chaitanya and his qualities in Vishnu Sahasra Nam. In Vishnu Sahasra Nam. So Duilila Chaitanya Adi Arshesha, Duilila Chari, Chari Nam Vishesha. The pastimes of Lord Chaitanya have two divisions the early pastimes, Adi Lila, and the later pastimes, Shesha Lila. He has four names in each of these two Leelas. So we are in the early pastimes, that's why it's called the Adi Lila. Adi, the beginning pastimes. So Varna, Varno, Hemango, Varankas, Chan. The Nangadi Sanyas Krit Chama Shanto Nishta Shanti Parayana. In his early pastimes, he appears as a householder with golden complexion. His limbs are beautiful, and his body, smeared with pulp of sandalwood, seems like molten gold. So, his earlier pastimes, he's the Grihast. He is a Grihast. In his later pastimes, he accepted the sannyas order and is equipoised and peaceful. He is the highest abode of peace and devotion, for he silences the impersonalist non-devotees. So his activities, what he's made, he's making everyone into a devotee, even the impersonalist. He gave them bhakti. He gave them Krishna Prem. This is a verse from the Mahabharata Dana Dharma Vishnu Sahasran Nam Stotra. In his commentary on the Vishnu Sahasran, Vishnu Sahasran Nam called the Nama Sartha Shuddha. So in the Vishnu Sahasra Nam, there is so much evidence given about the appearance of Lord Chaitanya. The predictions are there. Lord Chaitanya is going to come. He's going to do like this. He looks like this. Uh, yeah. So Sri Bala, Srila Baladev Vidya Bhushan, commenting upon this verse, asserts that the Lord, that Lord Chaitanya is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, according to the evidence of the Upanishads. So even the Upanishads, there is evidence that Lord Chaitanya is the Supreme Lord. He is the same Lord Krishna. He explains that Suvarna Varna means a golden complexion. He also quotes the Vedic injunction, Yada Pashya Pashyate Rukma Varnam Kartaram Isham Purusham Brahma Yonim Mundaka Upanishad 3.1.3 Rukma Varnam Kartaram Isham refers to the Supreme Personality of God as having a complexion, the color of molten gold. So in the Mundaka Upanishad, in the 3.1.3, it is mentioned that the Supreme Lord has a golden complexion. And that's Lord Chaitanya. Purusham means the Supreme Lord. And Brahma Yonim indicates that he's also the Supreme Brahman. This evidence too proves that Lord Chaitanya is the Supreme Personality of God and Krishna. So, so much evidence we have been giving. So that there are no doubts in our mind as to the position of Lord Chaitanya. 
Because if we have doubts, then we will not be able to take shelter of Lord Chaitanya. And if we don't take shelter of Lord Chaitanya, then we will not get his mercy. And if we don't get his mercy, then how will we get Krishna praying? You know, so, so for our benefit, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is giving so much evidence. Another meaning of the description of the Lord as having a golden hue is that Lord Chaitanya's personality is as fascinating as gold is attractive. Srila Baladev Vidya Bhushan has explained that the word Varanga means exquisitely beautiful. So Lord Chaitanya's his form has a very attractive golden complexion exquisitely beautiful. Now Chaitanya accepted sannyas, leaving aside his household and life to preach his mission. He has equan equanimity in different senses. First, he describes the confidential truth of the personality of Godhead. And second, he satisfies everyone by knowledge and attachment to Krishna. So after 24 years, Lord Chaitanya, who was a grihast at that time, he gave up household life and he entered the sannyas ashram. He became a sannyasi. Why? Because he wanted to preach everywhere. He wanted to give Krishna Prima to everyone and anyone. That's the reason he had come. And he felt that in the sannyas order of life, he will be best able to do it. And so what, what is his activity? What does he do? He speaks, he shows us who's the absolute truth. He speaks about absolute truth. And then he shows that how much attached he is to Krishna and how much knowledge he has. He's peaceful because he renounces all topics not related to the service of Krishna. So why is he peaceful? Because he is, what is his whole mood? Service of Krishna. So he's teaching us by example, we want to become peaceful, we should uh, be attached to serving Krishna. Now sometimes we might be serving, doing the activities of a devotional service, but are we doing that with a plan, with a with the intention to please Krishna? Or is it an intention somewhere else, you know? And then we say, oh no, 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 I'm I'm not happy. But because the intention has to be for the pleasure of Krishna. Whatever we do, we don't have to give up our duties. We don't have to leave homes. No, whatever we do, we do for the pleasure of Krishna. Srila Baladev Vidya Bhushan has explained that the word Nishta indicates his being rigidly fixed in chanting the holy name of Sri Krishna. So what was Lord Chaitanya's Nishta? He was always chanting. Lord Chaitanya subdued all disturbing opponents of devotional service, especially the monists, who are actually averse to the personal feature of the Supreme Lord. So the monists are the impersonalists, the Mayavadis. Monists means only saying that there's one Brahman. But, and because when, when we say one, oh, then I don't need to serve everyone. And I am that one, you know, so I don't need to serve. So then again, we are back to square one. Again, we are pretending we are the Supreme Lord. But Lord Chaitanya came to give us the highest knowledge. So he also gave bhakti to even the monas. So we will stop here for today. If any questions or comments, then we can take them. Otherwise, we'll stop here. Okay. Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Kija, Shla Prabhupada Kija, Gold Prim Hari Bo, Hare Krishna.